What's going on guys? This is Matthew from Project Unison. Um, this is going to be my first unboxing video. Um, so really what this channel is going to be is we're going to focus on music and technology and film and gaming. Um, just doing like unboxing videos of new stuff that we got. Um, talking about movies that are coming out, TV shows, new music, all of those things. Um, but today we are going to be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook. Um, this is the original version, um, the one with the 4K display. Um, I opted to get this version just because having a 4K OLED on a 13.3 inch display sounds pretty awesome. Um, I know looking at reviews and everything, a bunch of people have talked about the battery. Um, so today we're just going to be doing the unboxing and look for a review in a few weeks. It's been about, I think, a year and a half since this came out, um, maybe a little bit longer. So hopefully with updates over time with Chrome OS and um, Samsung, hopefully the battery is not as bad as those initial reviews made it out to be. Um, anyways, so this is the box that comes in. Uh, nothing too exciting here. You'll see Samsung Chromebook. 13.3 inch. This is the, I guess this is the only one they had. Eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gig storage. And let's take the plastic off. Satisfying plastic tear. Do not have a knife on me right now. And sorry about the weird setup right now. I'm actually just moved from South Carolina to Florida. Um, so I'm staying with my grandfather right now. Plastic off. So I'm a screen guy. Um, I had a Pixelbook Go initially, um, and that was my first Chromebook I ever got. Um, but I use an iPad Pro on the daily uh, with the M1 chip. So having that display next to my iPad Pro's display, I just couldn't do it. So this one seems like it's going to be good. As long as the battery is not as bad as everyone makes it out to be, I think I'll be fine. So I opted for the Fiesta Red version. Um, the Mercury Gray wasn't as dark as I had wished it would be. So this is the version I went for and it looks pretty good. It's covered in this paper right here. We'll set that aside for now. See what peripherals we get. I believe this is just going to be our instruction manual, quick start guide, all that fun stuff. So we will close that up. Set that to the side and a charging brick. So pretty, um, pretty basic stuff. That close up the box. This thing is very thin. Um, pictures do not do it justice. I don't know if this one, this one has to be thinner than the crib or the Pixelbook Go, just based off holding it. So we're going to pull it out. Wow. That is a beautiful piece of machinery. So on the sides here, this is the right side. You have the headphone jack, USB type C port, volume rocker up and down and your left speaker. Along the other side, you have another USB-C. You have that S Pen, which I think is a very cool feature of this device. Get it back in there. there it is. Um, sleep wipe button, or power button, LED indicator, and micro USB storage, or micro SD card slot, sorry. And your right speaker. So we are going to open it up, see if it does the one finger lift. Oh, kind of, it's trying to fall off the table here. Pull that off. And that is the device. Um, it looks, it looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you, it looks really good. Let's see if it has any juice, check out that display. which does not appear to. I'm sure it's just probably been sitting in their warehouse for a while. 
Um, I got a really good deal on this. So they were on sale right now for, I think it was $6.99. And then they have like an instant rebate on it. So I ended up walking out the door with this for $564 plus tax. And that came out to around, right around $600. $600 for a 4K display on a 13.3 inch laptop is, it's pretty crazy. Um, I think it's a good deal. Um, even if the battery is not that great, most of the times when I leave the house, I'm taking my iPad with me, not my laptop. So I think this is going to work out good for me. Um, I wish it had some juice. Does not, there's that fingerprint sensor there. Uh, the oddly placed camera, I'm not a big fan of that. Keys feel really nice. And I'm gonna get some juice in this thing and then we will uh, check it out a little bit. All right guys, so we got a little bit of juice in it now. Um, I gotta tell you, this display is amazing. Um, I don't know if this video is going to do it justice, but this is a 4K um, OLED demo from YouTube. The blacks are blacks, the colors punch, um, it's a beautiful display. Um, now what applications actually allow you to stream 4K content, I don't know. Um, I know that people have said that YouTube works, so I guess we'll just I'll have to play with it and see what actually supports 4K. Um, I'm sure the web-based versions might support 4K, but that's just something I'll have to play with. Um, my overall thoughts on the device are it's awesome. It's light, it's thin, um, screen is beautiful. Mostly I'm going, just going to be using this for web browsing and um, video playback at home. Um, like I said, I mainly use my iPad Pro M1 as my go-to computing device, so this is just something to use at home. Um, when I don't want to use my iPad. That's it for today. Appreciate you guys watching. Look forward to more content. Um, like I said before, the setup right now is a little strange, but um, once I get established and everything, it'll be uh, it'll be pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.